How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Watch out for the people that just want to tell you, oh no, you could know God you know, through these visions and these dreams. Don't worry about the Bible. Hey, you can't trust the Bible because there are people out there that will tell you that. Yeah. Oh, it's been changed. We don't know about that. But you know what? You can still have this relationship with God. And let me tell you how to do it. And it has nothing to do with God's word. That is a false prophet preaching out of their own heart. Their own lying visions, their own, their own um, lies of their own heart, the deceits of their own heart. That's what they're doing because the word of God is how we know about God. Verse 28, the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold... I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, He saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. Jonathan, sit still. Watch out for all these people that want to tell you what God says and they're not quoting scripture. This, unfortunately, is very common amongst Christianity. God told me, and, and watch out for the language too. It's spiritual language. I was talking with God the other night, you know, and God just told me that I should tell you guys this. Watch, don't, don't go there, okay? And, and anyone who's going to be a preacher, you know, we've got some, some people going to be preaching, don't do that next week when I'm out of town, telling everyone what God told you. And I was praying that God would tell me what to preach, and God told me, you know, Pastor Burzins, you need to preach this, because, you know, but how many times have you heard a preacher say things like that? It made me real sad once I went to a funeral. I, I think I've told this story once in a sermon before, but I went to a funeral, and it was real sad because, there, you know, the, the person that died had, had some younger children. You know, they're, they're young. And it was, it was one of these big mega churches that, that the, the, you know, the services were held at, and, you know, he was, he, the, the preacher, I don't know if it was a pastor, whoever it was, 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 you know, giving his sermon, and he starts talking directly to the son of, of the person that died and saying, you know, well, hey, you know, God wants you to know, God told me this, and he wants you, you know, and just starts going on and on about all this stuff that God told him. And I'm just thinking, you stinking liar. God didn't tell you that. I don't believe, God's not having some conversation with you I mean, if you're hearing voices, buddy, you know, you got, you, you got some problems. Now, thankfully, the things that he was saying to the, to the child weren't like, like real bad things. But you know what? We need to have respect for the Word of God to not just, just be flippant about saying, hey, God said this to me. If you say, well, God said that whosoever believeth in him should not perish by everlasting life, Amen. If you're trying to comfort someone in grief and say, you know what God told me? God told me that, you know, anyone that believes in Jesus Christ is saved and in heaven, you know, that, okay, amen, right? If you say things like that, say things that are actually in the Bible, that this is what God said, and you could say God told me because you read his words, that's fine. But don't go making stuff up, the thoughts of your own heart. Don't think that your thoughts are so godly that it's like God speaking to you when you have thoughts. Your thoughts are not God's thoughts. 
And I'll, and I'll tell you this much, you know, when I prepare sermons, I pray, I ask God, God, please help me. God, be with me. God, help me to find the right words. God, help me to preach on things that, that people are going to need, that people are going to use, that, that, that the church needs to hear. You know, I, I ask for some guidance, but I, not for one second do I think, oh, when I start having thoughts, oh, these are, this is God speaking to me and telling me this is what you ought to, no, no, 